All right, it's a beautiful day here in Fortune's Keep, about 62 and sunny, with a 15 degree wind from the north and northwest. Perfect day for a flight above Fortune's Keep. We're going to start off by going in the east, take you to the main attraction of this beautiful map. We have the keep itself, as you can see, lots of high ground, lots of shingles. I believe this is actually medieval architecture. Um, I'm actually getting word that Michelangelo actually did some work in there. And you can tell. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of land. Now we are over the bay. Uh, there's actually not much to say about the bay. As you can see, it is a bay. There is water, there is land. Uh, that's pretty much how you make a bay. Gotta love it. Oh, almost interfered with the balloon here. Sorry. Now we are above the winery as well as the camp. Now, uh, a fun fact about the winery is that is uh, actually the best place to get the 1972 Cabernet Sauvignon. Fortune's Keep Edition. Beautiful year. Pair that with a lovely piece of meat and you are going to have a damn good time. Now, this is the camp. This is where the Boy Scouts of America host their annual badge collecting ceremony. Um, so, shout out to them and all they do. Now, it's only natural that next to the Boy Scouts of America, you have the Smuggler's Cove. Gotta put legal activity next to illegal activity. Beautiful cove, beautiful water, actually a couple ships that are just relaxing in there. I gotta love the crystal clear blue water. No better way to relax than jumping off your boat into some fresh, clean, and crisp water. As we continue, we are now overlooking... Overlook! It has a very similar structure to town, actually. Uh, one might call this a favela-looking area. It's gorgeous. Lots of rooms. You should see the Airbnb prices for this are actually pretty, pretty expensive. But they don't have cleaning fees, which is actually one of the main bonuses of staying in town. Now, as we continue to pass this balloon and not try and crash the helicopter, we are over the graveyard. A lot of dead bodies there. We're not going to talk about it. It's sad. Now, as we continue over, we are almost back at Fortune's Keep. We are actually above the terraces, uh, which, again, very similar structure to the keep. Multiple buildings, multiple rooms. There's actually a fun fact. The terrace preceded the keep by about 50 years being built in 1472 by someone who builds stuff. I was not able to get the information, but I can tell you it's definitely true. Now we're going to take you guys over the middle of the map over to Gate House. This was almost the location for Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. Uh, and the third Lord of the Rings as well to use as Helm's Deep, but unfortunately they could not get a permit. Uh, excuse me, I'm giving an air tour. Could you please f*** off? That is disrespectful. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my non-binary friends, there you have it. Fortune's Keep, beautiful map. Beautiful place to stay, whether you're going to go to the winery, the town, overlook, or maybe keep yourself in the keep. You can guarantee it's going to be sunny in 62, and you are going to have a damn good time. Thank you so much for flying with me. I have been Air Puppies, and enjoy your stay.